Got him. <laughs> oh. As soon as the ice comes off, bass are one of my favorite things to target. Now, we all know Jeff Gustafson won the Bassmaster Classic moping. But when you fish jerk baits like I have here really slowly, you're essentially doing the exact same thing on a long cast. There's a good one. Beauty, oh, look at that, a female for sure. Now, I'll tell you a real cool thing. I'll put this girl back. As Liam said, one of the really cool things about jerk baits in the spring is you can mope 10, 15, 20 times. So every time you cast out, get it down and then pause. Now all of a sudden it's moping. Bring it 10 feet further towards you. Now it's moping again. And you can do that 8, 10, 12, 15 times in your cast. The most incredible thing in the spring is every hit, almost 99.9% .9 of the hits come on the pause. Many, many times you can put your rod down, go have a drink or pour yourself a cup of coffee, come back, pick, oh my gosh, there he is, and he hits it. The minute you move it after that long pause. The one thing you want is your bait trying to be totally suspended in the middle of the water calm. I want it either totally suspended or sinking just a bit. And that calls for a little bit of weight. Now, in the old days, what we would do, and we still do it, put a storm suspend dot or a storm suspend strip right underneath. But another cool way, you can see a little weight right underneath there. And that just perfectly weights it in this ultra cold water. We're primarily using deep divers. So they're the jerk baits with the slightly larger bill. Here I have two, basically, this is the Loco Special from 13 Fishing and the Rapalush, this is the Shadow Wrap Deep. And basically these are very similar baits. This one actually slowly sinks. So on each jerk, this one will basically hang neutrally buoyant and this one will slow. It's a pretty slow rate, uh, but it is something to consider. That's actually very good at times, especially fishing deeper water. Another option for a suspending jerk baits, the Whipper Snapper, very similar to the Loco Special. You can get these in 110s and also the smaller size. These smaller size are good. They don't dive quite as deep, but they're good if you're not really getting a lot of bites on the bigger fish. We are targeting smallmouth, so they do typically like smaller baits. They have no trouble hitting a 110, but sometimes if you find maybe they don't want to come up and smack this, maybe a little more of a finessey approach would be the smaller 80 millimeter. So, get it down and now you pause. And you can pause when you think I need you need to hit it again, pause even longer. And we'll pause and pause. And the guy or girl who pauses the longest catches the most fish. Now we're type A, so we gotta hit it a couple more times, but let her pause and you can talk. And the way you get onto it interestingly is you will pour yourself a cup of coffee or you'll lean over to get something and as you oh my god and that's what happens they've looked at it looked at it drive some crazy gotta eat it i like to use a spinning rod for pretty much all of my jerk baits this is a six foot nine medium fast i like this because it's still kind of long enough to be able to oh we got one in the back right <laughs> Can't be mad about those interruptions. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I like the six foot nine because it just it's still long enough that I can cast a long way, but it's pretty short, so I can be really nimble with the tip and work it exactly how I want to. This is an omen gold from 13 Fishing, and this is pretty much their walleye sort of smallmouth line, but it does anything you really need it to do. And then I have an Arios, so a 13 Fishing Arios, so a 200 size, a 2.0, and 12 pound braid to about a, a six foot 12 pound fluorocarbon or monofilament leader. Sometimes I like to use monofilament leaders 
just because they're actually a little bit more neutrally buoyant than fluorocarbon. So when we're trying to get those long pauses, you actually don't have the line pulling your lure down. So early in the spring, throw a jerk bait as far as you can, rip it down, and then pause as long as you can, and you'll mope 10, 15, 20 times every cast. 